Thank you for choosing Pembrokeshire Caravan Hire. Allow me to show you around this Eldest Affinity 550 Fixed Island Bed Full Berth Caravan. Stepping just inside the caravan, you'll see inside the habitation door, you've got these panels. This is to turn all the systems on. You'll see everything light up above. The right hand one, if you press there, that will show you what your battery is doing and that's at 13.5 volts at the moment. This is the water pump. You turn that on and it's an external water pump on this particular caravan. So and that light will only light up when it's actually drawing water in via the uh, external pump. Uh, and then the light will automatically turn back out again. It won't go on until you actually draw water, turning that back off. Above here, let's press the menu button and you see three, four different uh, uh, settings. The top one here, you can see it says five degrees. That is the temperature, that is the heating inside the caravan. I've just turned that up to 7.5. So you set that up to whatever desired temperature you want, if it's 18 or 19 or 20 degrees, and the, the wet uh, heating system will just simply do the rest for you. It'll be very, very quiet, but it will heat the caravan to that temperature. Turning it back down again, just so it doesn't come on there. The next one is the hot water. You see at the moment, the settings in the middle, press the, the plus button, and that will then go up. That will get you to the full temperature, full water temperature. And when it gets up to full temperature, that will just drop back down to the middle again, to that position. The next one you can see here is the electric supply. At the moment it says off. That says now one kilowatt. Press it again a couple of times. You can go up to three kilowatts. If you're on a very modern caravan site and you've got a really good 16 amp supply there, you can get it up to three kilowatts and everything works just that little bit quicker. On many campsites though, there isn't sufficient electric supply into it um, to operate on more than one kilowatt. What tends to happen is the trip switches outside will tend to go, not in the caravan, the caravan can cope, it just, there may not be enough electric supply to go right the way around. So leave that on one kilowatt if it's a slightly older system. The bottom one is the gas supply. At the moment it says off, press it to on, the green light will come on and your heating and hot water will be working off the gas. Turn that back off, turn that completely back off, turn the system back off there. That's an internal light, that is the awning light. Moving into the front compartment, you have above uh, your roof light with a blackout screen and fly screen. Storage cupboards uh, numbering four. In here you've got your radio and CD player, the control for the digital aerial, your first aid kit, more storage in here. Across this side we've got the whistling kettle, the toaster, the normal kettle. And then down here below this part, you'll find the, the main control box with the trip switches for your 240 volt system and the fuses for the 12 volt system. In the Eldis 550, the length of the, uh, the front seats are ideal as single beds for children, but not really for adults. The adult double bed comes across the caravan this way. Starting at the front, you can produce a table, so you can, uh, you can sit on the there. You have drawers below, and then to create the double bed, pull this across, you'll see some lugs just underneath, go over those lugs, and then pull in from the side the two cushions there. And what we do recommend is that you turn these open over the other side as well. Because this side doesn't have the ridges and therefore you'll get a much flatter bed and then you get a, about a seven foot long four foot six wide double bed. The Dometic fridge will work off electric or gas. To turn it on in the first place press that button things will illuminate. 
you'll see on here it's connected to the electric at the moment if that were to flash and make a beeping noise it means you haven't got electricity coming in to the caravan if you wanted to turn it to gas you'd, pre you'd, you'd press across to there this would illuminate that one is for leisure battery when you're actually um, driving the car so turning it back over here to electric to turn the temperature up that's on the very lowest setting right at the moment press it once twice three number five is going to be really really cold we tend to find that number four is sufficient otherwise you might find things freezing within the fridge itself inside plenty of space freezer compartment at the top moving into the kitchen area you'll see we have storage space uh, in the cupboard above with cutlery cafetiere plates and cups and stuff microwave above moving down to your kitchen sink which has its own draining board hot and cold tap that will pull down moving to your hob here you've got three gas rings and they work very simply by pushing in turning pressing the clicker button and the igniter button on the front hold it for a moment and then you've got your gas coming through there it has an electric ring as well we have a grill just down below which you would grill make sure that remains open when you're grilling oven below that and below there pots and pans in case you want to make some culinary delights down here you have kitchen towel dustpan and brush and some more utensils down in there the next area just inside the habitation door is a very important one it contains the wine glasses they're melamine so again they shouldn't uh, have any problems with breakages you have the fire blanket fire extinguisher carbon monoxide tester and smoke alarm up above your television just the same as the one at home it's got a remote control to tune it in in the first place uh, nothing to do with the aerial go to the menu go to auto scan and set that that pops in just behind and just below here you'll see that there's a table that can be either set up into the awning uh, or can be used in the front compartment for extra space when you're eating moving down into the odd suite bedroom we have a fixed island bed we have large wardrobes either side of that bed in this particular one we have the Aldi wet central heating system boiler above we have some storage a couple of individual lights and the bed itself is very lightweight works on pistons it just lifts up very easily loads of space for your luggage to keep that out of the way we have four chairs to go into the awning as it's a four berth we have in there a vacuum cleaner rotary aerer and pegs in this bedroom we have a second television which again has its own separate remote control and can be tuned in completely separately from the television in the lounge area so you can watch two different things at the same time we can open the toilet door which shuts onto the lounge to create an entirely separate bedroom ensuite with its shower facility one side and in here you have your toilet facility and your basin we have over over here a vanity mirror with its own light just below and a 240 volt socket for hair dryer, hair straighteners, whatever you need to use there. Uh, also below it some storage and should you need you have a, an, an extra concertina door that will come across and create a private bedroom while the people from the lounge can use the toilet facilities in privacy. Now moved into the toilet where the toilet itself is flexible so you can keep it out of the way or you can move it around for your own comfort lifting the toilet lid and the toilet seat there behind here you have the flush this particular caravan works off the main water system so there's nothing else to fill up separately for the flush so if you've got water into the caravan it will automatically come round uh, to this toilet press the button that will flush will clear everything down that you've put in there um, number ones number twos toilet paper everything there the handle on the bottom here if you just slide that across that opens up the flap 
that lets everything then drop straight down into the toilet cassette below. To close it, close it back across. Try not to force it too much, this. It works on a plastic cog, and if you jam it across, sometimes they can jump out, the mechanism could break, so just be a little bit careful with it. Um, move it back across, and that's how your toilet will work. Well, I do hope that I've managed to give you all the information that you might require to make the absolute most out of your caravan experience hiring through us. In addition to the information that I've already given, we include inside the caravans a complete information pack which contains all local activities and details about shops. We also include uh, a complete breakdown of how the systems work inside and out of the caravan in writing and in pictures. Also troubleshooting guide if you're working with electricity on a campsite or in an off-grid situation where you have to get the caravan to work with just the 12 volt system. Beyond all that, if that isn't all the information you require, we're available on the phone uh, between eight o'clock in the morning and six o'clock in the evening, every day, should you need any more information, we're always happy to help. We hope you have a, a most wonderful caravan experience with us.